Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Somebody wanted to be in the intro and say hello. Hello. Who are you? My name's Delaney. Okay, this is our Funfetti Middle you might hear me talk about now and then. All right, go finish your work. So we are November 28th. Uh, you can see I've got Christmas happening. I've still got two 200 pound boxes, still putting away Thanksgiving. Our kids went back to school today after fall break, and I was this close to not filming a video for today. I had done really well, and I had a bunch that I filmed over the course of a week, and I've had them ready to go to meet my November three-video-a-week challenge, and I kind of ran out, and then we have family visiting. They're still here till tomorrow, and whew, it's just been a lot, but I said, you know what? I made a commitment. I'm going to do it, so here we are. I decided to share just my Poshmark sales for the first half of November. So as current as I've ever been on what sold. And usually I share my Mercari and Kitizen, you know, I go throughout the month, but I just decided to focus just on Poshmark because I don't know about the rest of you guys. I am not speaking to anyone that is currently participating and hosting. Delaney, please stop doing the lives. Uh, but that is not my jam. I don't like to say never say never, but I don't want to do lives. I don't want to give away things. I don't want to give stuff away for super cheap. And I feel like I'm not alone in that these lives on Poshmark have tanked my Poshmark sales. I was just looking at a report before I came on here. And this time last month, I had double the amount of Poshmark sales already. Uh, same for this time last year. So like this same month, like month over a month. It's a good thing I don't rely on this income to pay my bills. I know a lot of people do, so I'm not trying to be funny about it, but I have actually been crushing it over on Mercari. So I will probably do a whole nother video on my November sales just from Mercari because I don't know if buyers that aren't interested in the live sales are just as fed up with the relentless notifications as sellers and maybe they have moved over to Mercari. So if you're not cross-posting there, I use List Perfectly. Got a link below. It's the best thing ever. And if it weren't for Mercari right now and some amazing sales I've had this month, I would be like maybe a fourth of the way to my personal goal. So I thought we'd talk about what is selling. Now, this isn't, this is like Amanda work mode. I'm in the middle of doing the tree. Uh, it's just quiet because I've got one kid at dance, one kid at scouts. And I thought I, I could just sit down and do this right now. But I'm, I did not print out. I let me not take credit. My husband usually prints me out the spreadsheet that I refer to when I do these videos. And I can tell you exactly what I paid, where I got it from, the gross, the net, all of that. We're not going to do that tonight. I have a pretty good memory for where things came from, but we're just going to talk about what's selling. I can tell you, I haven't had a lot of really great sales. Now the, the second half of the month, I have had some higher price sales, but y'all times are tough on Poshmark. And I read the comments on fellow YouTubers videos and I feel like some people have said that they know how to turn off the notifications that so-and-so is live. Please, if you know that and you've actually done it, comment below because I don't see that there's a way to do that. I've Googled it. I've clicked through all the things. It's annoying. I don't like to watch them. I don't want to buy from them. I don't want to do them. I just want it to just disappear from my feed. So all right. Now, if you are doing them and that's how you want to roll your business, awesome. I'm glad it's working for some people. It's just for resellers like me that maybe pay up a little more for some of our items. Like I, I, it is not worth my time to just make a dollar, even if I sell 20 items. It's just, you know, all right, let's go. All right. The first thing to sell on November the 1st was this sundry weekend tank. I picked this up at a closed mentor on clearance. It sold for $16. I was just happy to have a sale. These hotter shoes, like a lot of the sales I have had, I've had a lot of headaches on Poshmark this month. I've had two cases open against me. I have won both of them. This person, um, if you follow me over on Instagram, I just complained that um, she asked me, I don't know if it was here, um, you know, I hate to call people's names out. She asked me, I'm, are you, I'm just double checking to see if this is a US size six. You guys like Hotter is one of those brands that it literally says here, USA six. I said it is tagged to size six. I literally typed out if you're in doubt, 
I would head to the website and check their size charts. If you're unsure of your size, whatever she sent me an offer, I took it. Then she left me four stars because they didn't fit. You know, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I was happy to move these. I've actually had these in my inventory for probably two years because I heard they were a great brand to sell. I couldn't move them. All right, Sorrel, tried and true. Uh, these I did pick up at a Once Upon a Child. So I usually average my cost of goods from there and they're anywhere from five to $7. They sold for 35. These Puma men sneakers, I sold them for $11. These were my husband's. He wore them a lot. They were stained up. I decided to list a bunch of his shoes over the summer that he wanted to get rid of. Easy money, better than just donating it, right? All right, this Janie and Jack onesie was actually probably one of my longest in inventory items that I had. I love Janie and Jack. It's one of those things as a new reseller when I came back to reselling, because you guys, if you're new here, um, I resold way back in the early 2000s when I was in college over on eBay. So anyway, I got back into it after having kids. Janie and Jack is one of those very high retail, very low resale, in my opinion. Some of their coats and fancy occasion dresses will do well. Anyway, this was new without tags. I picked it up for a dollar at a local Goodwill. And um, probably three years later, it sold for $7. These Zaya Active leggings, another brand that some resellers sell very well. I seem to kind of sit on it. It will eventually sell usually around $20. I sold these leggings. I think I had $6 into them just from a local Goodwill. They sold for $21. And they were a size large. This Strasburg purple smocked dress. Usually you'll hear me say anything smocked will sell, sell well, sell for a lot. But this was a big girl size 14. I can't imagine a lot of girls that wear this size would be interested in wearing this. So it did take quite a while for this to sell. I took an offer for $19 and this came in a thread up kids box and I had about 75 cents into it. So I was happy to flip it for 19 these Birkenstocks, if you watched my 200 pound recap video where I took a bunch of stuff to Play-Dohs and all of that, this was a pair of shoes that I picked up at a random thrift store with the money that I got from Play-Dohs. These sold super quickly. They sold for $67. They're Birkenstocks. They were only size 37 and they were closed toed. This was one of those shoes though that had comps in the like 20s and 30s and then the 70s and 80s. So I kind of, I think I listed mine at 75 and took a $67 offer. This was another item from a Thread Up Kids bulk mystery box. So I had about 75 cents into it, sold for $15. It was really cute. It was a size six to 12 months. You know that things are super vintage baby gap when it said like they called this a newborn stage three, six to 12 months. They had stage one, stage two. The sizing didn't make sense because newborn and six to 12 I don't know, but the quality during that era was fantastic. This Azazi Dakota dress, I was really glad I found the stock photos. Here was my photo. This is why I say I do not like to photograph dresses. I do not have a white wall that I can back up far enough to keep my camera in square mode. So I have to, like, this is in my photo box. So I have to crop it. And then I use Pick Tap Go to then save it as a square and it puts the white on the edges. So I just find it to be an extra hassle. But this came in one of my thread up scrap fabric boxes. And so I only had, what do I think? I think like $3 and change into it. And it sold for $55 and it was tiny. It was a size A4, which is one of their smaller sizes. This Disney Parks Dumbo knit stocking came from a local sale. I had a dollar into it, sold for 20. This was a bundle sale, a little Gap Disney Frozen pajama set, a little Mickey Mouse plush, and a little Frozen nightgown. The nightgown came from a Thread Up Kids box for 75 cents. The mini Mickey Mouse plush came out of my kid's closet, and the Gap uh, pajamas also came from a, a Thread Up box. So I had about $2 into maybe $3 and sold it for 20, and it was a grandma buying for her granddaughter, and she was very excited, so... I thought it was a pretty great flip. This Disney teal T-Rex running tee came out of my closet. Uh, it's from a restaurant out at Disney Springs. I just never wore it. Uh, I got it for the year my son was having a dinosaur birthday party and I ended up finding another shirt 
instead. So it sat in my closet for probably seven years. <laughs> I sold it for $10. These J. Crew paper bag skirts came from my very first 200 pound bulk box like two years ago now. And I had a dollar thirty-two. I remember into each piece, so I had about two sixty-four into these two. They were size double zero, but they were a great quality. One was a linen cotton blend, and the brown was totally wool. Sold for twenty-two dollars. This Disney Parks Christmas onesie also came from a local thrift. I live in Orlando. If you're new here, um, Disney Park stuff I find all the time. Picked it up for a dollar, sold it for 10. Super easy to list these little baby things. This Leah Sophia little heart bracelet. This is my photo. I just used, I have like a, a folder, like a file folder. It looked weird on my white background. I needed some kind of color pop. Uh, it came in a thread up fun box. So usually those fun boxes, my cost of goods is around $3.25 and it sold for $12. You see like all these sales are like, they do add up and I don't mind having these smaller price sales. But another reason I wanted to do this video for you guys is the last couple of months, I haven't gotten around to doing like a weekly what sold and kind of showing you everything. I've only shown you like the top sales. So I just wanted to show that yes, I do sell the like smaller sales. But hey, it all does add up. These Kamek pink little toddler size five snow boots actually had $0 into them. I ordered them from swap.com and they were a mess. They were filthy. I did throw them in the washer. They were listed in play condition. They had some pop stitches on the back. Uh, they were just not good. But I mean, they're so wearable. You know, they weren't really worn because someone wearing a size five toddler isn't walking a lot. They just, oh, here's the back. Um, you can see the inside lining. Anyway, they were sold to me as, as excellent used condition. So Swap just paid me back and said, keep them. Don't even send them back to us. I still listed them because I'd already invested the time to clean them. Sold them for $10. So it was pure profit and shoes are easy to list. This is a designer sunglasses bundle. This is one of those cases where like, I don't know, I love Poshmark, but um, these were, I was just cleaning out sunglasses that I had. These were all very like higher end, but not great condition. They've been on the boat. They've got, they had some corrosion. They had scratches. Anyway, um, I was happy to, I had them listed at $25. Happy to sell them for 20. The item showed delivered, but the buyer opened up a lost package claim and, and says that it was never delivered to them. I don't know. Poshmark paid me out. They made me wait an extra like three or four days. They paid me and they refunded the buyer, even though tracking USPS tracking showed it delivered. I don't know. All right. These Disney parks leggings, I had $5 into them from a local sale. They sold for 20. This cozy wool trapper hat. I picked it up at the bins a really long time ago for 75, 80 cents and finally sold it for $7. I thought it was cool. I thought people that live where it's really cold like to wear these kind of things, but I didn't know to check the buckle and the buckle was like, like misshapen here you go and like cracked it still would open and close but hey seven bucks I probably made about four dollars these torrid pants um I did not I picked them up from swap.com it I did not know they were supposed to have a belt until I looked up the stock photo and as you can see it indeed was supposed to come with a belt but it was just regular old belt loops so any belt would do but I had to sell them for a lower cost I had about $5 into them and sold them for 21. If you watch a lot of my videos, you might remember my thread up active wear box where I had these two gray scuba hoodies uh, from Lululemon. They were both size eight. In that video, they looked pretty great, there, um, but they were covered in stains. There was a lot of stains I could not get. I mean, structurally, they were great. It was almost like somebody wore them to the barn or you know, horseback riding something. They weren't bad stains, uh, but they they were there. Um, like here's one next to one of the collar. Like, and I I washed them one time, but I didn't like seriously stain treat them, soak them, do oxy. I just I didn't have the time. I'm like, you know what? I know these will sell as is, and they did. They sold them very quickly for forty nine dollars, and just selling this almost broke me back even on that box. I have since sold one or two other things from that box and I have recouped all of my money. And it was the box of like half okay stuff, but all of the Lululemon was damaged and all C9. 
So I don't know that I would buy that box again, but this was a pretty great sale. I had $7.33 into these two pieces. This also um, from a very recent fun box video that we did, the Stella McCartney pajama top sold for $50. And if you remember, if you watched that video, the retail price was $425 for the pajama set. Um, I could not find any comps on this exact print or style even, but I did find a lot of single tops going from the $35 to $60 range. So I think I listed mine at $75 to start. I got a $50 offer that more than covered the cost of that entire fun box. So I took it. This Matilda Jane little girl's dress was my daughter's, sold for $18. And this retrofit Nordic style little kids uh, sweater also came in the thread up kids box for 75 cents, sold for $15. So the interesting thing is that I actually sold a lot of kids items. Uh, so, you know, people are paying the shipping. A lot of my items do get sold by offer to likers. I do use Posher VA. A lot of you have used my discount code for that. Thank you so much. Uh, and I do, what do I have right now? 15% off after five minutes. And I exclude items listed in the last seven days. And I manually send offers on those because if I do get a lot of full price sales on brand new items, so I am still usually sending offers. I have lately been turning my offers to likers off. I still use posture VA all to re I relist and delist 20 items every single morning and it's sharing my closet all day. But I have, because sales are so bad, I've turned off the, the offers to watchers like every other day. And I'm sending 30, 40, even 50% off of some items just to kind of clear out some things. So that's why some of these sales were low. The second half of the month, if I do a video for that, you'll see I made some pretty low sales. But I feel like the more sales you have, it triggers some other sales. So I have had some good sales. These were all, like I told you, these were kind of the run middle of the road sales. And yes, they add up, but I think I just showed you 25 sales, 25 sales in two weeks on Poshmark. Um, for some people that's great, but for my, I keep a very strict um, schedule, not schedule, can't speak tonight. I have a spreadsheet so I can easily click through every month and see what my numbers have been. And this month is just terrible. And everyone talks about how amazing fourth quarter is, but I think it's a lot to do with the economy. Um, I know for us personally, we are not buying as many Christmas gifts this year. Uh, we have not been, not we've never really been frivolous spenders, but I went to Target today and I got what I needed and got the heck out of there. Okay, I did buy one cute little reindeer food thing from the dollar section, but um, I just feel like a lot of people are watching their money and people are buying more necessity items. Like that's why I think I've seen an uptick in kids items on Poshmark because kids grow, kids need sweaters, kids need new shoes, they need jackets. You know, my kids, when they were in a certain age, we were changing sizes every six months. So how are your sales? Hopefully you guys didn't mind me jumping on here, looking all crazy just to share with you. Whew, we'll get through this. Um, don't jump ship, you know, everything comes and goes ups and downs. Um, my own business outside of reselling has been this, 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 and then a couple years like this and this, and then straighter, you know, but you've got to, you've got to stay with it. Um, I, I will also add, I have not been listing as much as usual. And I absolutely know that has had some effect on my sales for sure. Um, my grandmother's been in the hospital. We've had family here. It's just been a lot. So I am kicking it up five notches. Um, our kid economy event starts tonight at midnight over on Kidizen. If you're not there, use my code down below, get a couple women's items cross posted. Um, and you know, even people not participating in that event, it tends to kind of stimulate the entire kitizen economy for the next week. So hopefully we all get some sales from that. And I am wishing you lots of sales on all of your platforms. And again, if you're not cross-posting, you're missing sales. I'm talking to myself because I am not cross-posting on eBay and I should be, but Mercari, like I said, has really picked it up for me. So give it a try. Even if you just want to, I've got, use my, um, Posture VA code, you don't, you can use my code and sign up, but you're not really signing up. You don't enter any payment information until your two week trial is over, but that's plenty of time to get all your items cross-listed. I did like 800 items over two days. 
So you can do that. You can have it sharing your items. You can be relisting and delisting things. Just see if it helps you out if you are struggling and you're not using a VA. Um, yeah. All right, guys. We got this. Now it's time to go finish Christmasing my house and it's still in the upper 80s. So send me some. I need some elf. I need to eat some syrup or something because I'm just not in the Christmas spirit yet. I'm still the Grinch. I'll get there. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.